Hello everybody, today we're looking at the ASUS RT-AC68U which is a dual band wireless AC1900 gigabit router. Important to note that this is a router, not a modem router. So you can't just plug this into a phone socket in the wall if you've got ADSL and expect to connect straight to the internet. You need a separate modem to go with this to function as an ADSL or another kind of modem router. I bought this because I decided to separate my modem from my router. I've decided to upgrade my wireless to a faster speed of wireless and hopefully get a bit more range. And I future proof myself because I may upgrade in the future my internet connection to super fast broadband and I should just be able to buy a separate modem. Let's have a look inside the box and see what you get. Got some aerials. We've got the unit itself. Seems quite solid. I like the fact that this unit comes with buttons for power, Wi-Fi, and also to switch off the LEDs on the front so it could be a bit more discreet. It's fairly well made. Plasticky, but um, seems like good quality. Get some documentation. A disc with some drivers on, although I'll probably get the latest ones from the website. Okay, we've got a manual with some setup information and an English section at the front for me. Good. A power brick and looks like an adapter for the UK. There is also an adapter in the box for two pin style mains power. As the power plug goes in the corner there, there's the button. Okay, it's got four gigabit ports on it, this router. There's your two pin plug. The fifth port on the back of the router is actually a WAN port which connects to your modem, so um, that's what the fifth one's for. Let's have an overall look at what we get and see what it looks like with the aerials on. Two, three. And that's pretty much what you get in the box. I don't have a lot of very fancy test equipment. What I can tell you is that up close and in reasonable range, the router is about four times faster than my old Billion Wireless N router. And at range, it's about the same speed as my Billion was, you know, at the sort of full extension of its range, but a more consistent signal, more reliable signal, so I was able to do streaming and things that I wasn't able to do previously. So I'm pleased because on balance, the performance is considerably improved over on my old router, at close and medium range and at long range I'm getting better performance. Now let's have a look at the web UI and see how the configuration pages look. We'll just log in here from my browser. Now those of you that may have seen some of my other videos will know I'm a big fan of the ASUS web interface I've used and I was on the previous ASUS router that I reviewed. It's come a long way from the very clunky, web-based, uh, straight out of the 1980s approach that you see from some of the manufacturers still. So it's basically mouse-driven. and This router has a lot of capabilities. It has uh, some really powerful quality of service facilities on it. it. has a very simple configuration that you could use even without using the disks. You can just log into this with a default IP address and set it up very quickly. And for me, it worked straight out of the box with my modem, which I'm using, which happens to be my old billion router. Okay, so the levels of sophistication in here are such that um, I think it's unlikely that most people are going to be using all of the features unless they're kind of power users. But it's good to know that they're there if you need them. There are um, web filter facilities for parents, for filtering for children and other more vulnerable users. Um, and some quite sophisticated LAN and other network capabilities. I have used the USB ports on the router and I'm pleased to say that they are faster than others that I've seen and I was able to stream video from them onto my network and it does act as a very effective media server obviously with um, depending on the capacity constraints and what you plug into the USB ports. So overall impressive smooth and a really good web interface that I really like and enjoy using compared to many other of its competitors.
in terms of what do I think is missing? Well, I do think it's a shame that you aren't able to get more data from your modem through the router and available on the web interface regarding the quality of your connection and perhaps interrogate the modem a little bit more in terms of providing data. That is, uh, I guess, one of the downsides of this kind of configuration with a separate modem and router. But nonetheless, it is something that um, I do miss from my old combined modem routers of the past. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance of my uh, new Asus router. Here it is blinking away in the corner of my office. As everyone knows, positioning in wireless routers is very important to get good range of performance. And I'm not listening to my own or anybody else's advice crammed in the corner of the office, but this works for me. The important thing to bear in mind with this is your connection performance to the internet will depend on the modem you use to create that connection, not the router itself. I found the wireless performance to be a big improvement for me. The gigabit network is fast. The configuration is good. The web UI is excellent. It's one of, I think, the outstanding features of this product, actually. So it's really easy to configure and use. And overall, I'm very happy with it because I know that when I upgrade to Superfast Broadband, I can just put a new modem, modem in the system and keep my old router. So I'm pretty happy. Thanks a lot.